Lucy and I have uh, started another sub project here. There's Lucy right there. Say hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. But what we're doing is uh, this panel here, this is all dry glue that's on here from its original application. And it's all dry and crusty and nasty. And it's got to be cleaned off before we can uh, re-glue it. And now this is the piece that goes up underneath the window, if you can imagine where it is there. And then wraps down around this radius and goes back that way to meet up with this piece here. Now we got lucky on this piece because uh, all the glue apparently was stuck to the old wood because this one was clean when we took it off. It took very little effort to get this one ready to go. But this one's a whole nother story. It's been quite a job. And uh, what we're doing is soaking paper towels with denatured alcohol, letting it soak for a while, and then scrubbing on it with single ot uh, steel wool and uh, using scrapers. And uh, as you can see, we're making a difference. We're not getting it all. It doesn't look like we're going to get it all, but we're getting a good majority of it. And what's there, you can't really feel. So. Uh, a lot of that might just be stains. So we're going to stay after it, see if we can get this piece ready to glue up, and uh, hopefully we'll get that done today. I'll get back with you later. We've moved on to cleaning up the hardware, the trim for the outside, getting all this gunk sealant that was inside there out cleaning the edges up and uh, we'll probably end up repainting these before we put them on but I'm busy doing that same process as we used on the panel that uh, Lucy and I worked on the other day I want to show you something kind of neat here, just a little hack deal here. Um, trying to get down in these little narrow spots on this trim, we didn't have a putty knife small enough and uh, it was kind of a hassle. So Paul came up with this idea, I thought it was kind of neat. Took a butter knife and just ground the tip off of it square and uh, man this has been handy to get in all these little places here where you can't get to with anything else and clean it up that's real handy you ought to make yourself one okay I've got the back cleaned up about as good as it's going to all the way down but uh, I wanted to mention to you that you're also going to want to take steel wool and make sure you get any corrosion from around these holes here. That's what I'm doing now. Because when this goes back up, there's going to be sealant underneath here. And uh, it's going to want to kind of squeeze up through these holes as it tightens down. You want to make sure that that causes a nice bond around these holes too. So don't forget to do that part. Okay, it's become obvious that we're going to have to repaint these trim pieces when we get done. They're just uh, too badly scratched up from trying to decock them. So uh, I had found a spray paint that really closely matches the color of Classy. And uh, we're just going to use it. Uh, let me show you how close this is though. It's a uh, Rust-Oleum American Accents 2X Ultra Cover Heirloom White. And we'll just go ahead and use that. Uh, the rest of trim's white. But I had bought this can. I, I saw it at Walmart. Thought it would be a pretty close match if we ever needed 
any touch up paint and lo and behold it's really close so we'll have to do a little more prep on the trim and uh, paint it before we put it on that won't be so bad I know it seems like it's taken an awful long time to get this project done and uh, the fact is it really is taking a long time it really doesn't have a lot to do with the project itself so much as extenuating circumstances um, you know we have to work around schedules and uh, it's an hour round trip just to come out here uh, we're uh, an hour hour round trip from the nearest hardware store so anytime we need anything that's a long downtime it's spring here in the Midwest so weather isn't cooperating with us at all uh, there's just a a lot of outside uh, circumstances that we can't control but uh, on top of that we're trying to to make this a how-to do-it-yourself kind of a little series um, so we're being a little more detailed in the videos and than most people uh, I hope somebody finds them helpful at some point but uh, I'm gonna cut this video off here we're looking at rain and thunderstorms for the next several days so it may be a while before we can get back out here and therefore uh, it'll be a while before I have any film footage that I can put together into a video so please be patient there uh, it might be as much as a week before I get another one put up but uh, anyway it's coming along I'm happy Lucy's a little more relaxed after she came out the other day and saw what was going on so, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.